I ate the raw meat. You mix a goat belly sack with a squirrel hoof, and you blend it with an onion. We gotta tell you, it was gross. It was pretty gross. I'm used to a satisfying one meal a day. It's my only chance to eat in the day. Looking forward to that meal. And then last night's meal, not so forward thinking in that one. I basically had grass-fed ground lamb with beef suet, a little bit of herbamare on there, chopped up a tomato, threw that in, an avocado and some olives. But I think that was it. That was fun. That's good times. Right there, the texture of ground meat is just a pleasing one. There's nothing there. There's zero reason why my jaw won't deteriorate. There was no resistance. You're supposed to be able to chew things and strengthen so you look like a man with a jaw. I'm gonna turn into an old granny. I just want raw meat. That would be so sweet. I will do anything. For health, I don't care. I can live with that, what happened last night. If it brings me super energy, good digestion, teenage girl skin on the volleyball team, I'm good to go. I don't care about the... The one thing that's cool about raw meat, it's not very delicious. This is a two-factor beneficial plan. One, the vegans have nothing to say now about you're doing this for taste, because we're not, clearly. It tastes like nothing. You want nothing for dinner? Have raw meat. There's nothing to it. It's bland. It tastes like your tongue already tastes. There's nothing there. So you can't say I'm doing this for bad reasons. I just want to murder an animal and steal its energy. The second benefit is it's hard to overeat on raw meat. That's rhymed. Although I'd managed to do it last night somehow. The satiation signals don't hit you very fast. So you might have to back down a notch, but there's no reason to keep eating this boring ass meal. Eventually it's like, you feel it, it's like, okay, I should stop. And then there's no temptation there, like, oh, but it's so good. That's, you might live longer because of it and have a better grasp if you have food addictions. This is it. Switch your diet to the most bland, boring diet on earth. Why would you overeat it? It's boring. You're boring. Now last night was a bad example because the night before I couldn't finish my meal. So I still had some of this vegetable cabbage and this beef suet and a couple chicken hearts. And so I ate that first and then the raw meat meal. That didn't sit well together. They were fighting. They were like, we're raw foodists now. What are you doing here? It's like when you're trying to move into a new apartment and the old tenants are still there. So I was a little nauseous last night. They didn't interact well, and I think I overate on top of that. So, not a good first night. I slept okay. I was hot. The lamb meat heats the body, aging you faster every day. But I've been getting nauseous at least a little bit almost every night, these giant fatty meals. Hopefully it stops with the raw food. It didn't last night, and there's no reason it should, <laughs> but it could and I like those odds. I'm gonna have some salmon tonight. That's somewhat normal. People have sushi out in the real world, in public. So that's not, it tastes good. Salmon raw, fantastic. Lamb meat, eh. Mm. I would like to buy a whole lamb. I need a freezer, I might get one. I'm leaning towards that because you can order a grass-fed happy lamb from Ontario. They'll deliver it to you, chop it all up. I just worry. Now that I'm doing this stupid ass raw thing, for now at least, we'll see what happens. I want Stray Ridge health. We'll get it. <laughs> but some of the meat, like the leg meat, that's tough. How do you do that raw? Like there's some meats that just you can't chew. I could get a grinder and bypass, but then I'd like, I miss that chewing on the raw meat. It took forever, but you build the jawline of a hunk. You're hunk like. I like that. So give me your tips down below. I can't handle beef. So don't even suggest, oh, just eat tenderloin in the beef suit. Perfect mix. Is there lamb tenderloins? I have never seen one in a shop. How much would that cost? Ah, so give me your tips down below. Freezer wise and ordering a whole lamb. Can you eat it raw? Should I be doing this? Am I a freak?
Should I just cook it? I do like, so far no stomach pain, so raw meat is good. I've only ever gotten sick off cooked meat. You cannot get sick on raw. No matter how long you leave it, there's people leaving it like a year in the fridge. It's like, oh yeah, that's my year old beef heart in there. You want some? No, we don't. But you can eat it, even though it smells like ass and a raccoon had a fight and the raccoon won. You won't get sick from it. I proved it with the chicken. Oh God, that was so gross. A two week old chicken in a Thailand cupboard. Nothing, I was fine. But I've been sick on much less. There's something magical about raw meat though. I can't explain it. It doesn't taste that good, but it's magic somehow. So tell me what your best lamb cuts are to eat raw, because you're doing this as well, right? We're in this together. Don't even look at me with your parasite questions down below. Parasites are healthy now. They love you. Just love them back. Give them a home. And they'll make you presents. They'll bring you gifts. Gifts of health and love. Parasites are good now. Bad bacteria is the good bacteria. You don't know what you're talking about. My only plants now are just low sugar fruits. Those should be the easiest to digest other than the leftovers. I had last night the bit of cabbage that ruined my life. But tomatoes, avocados, olives. I thought about a cucumber, 250 for one non-organic cucumber. What the hell was that? What kind of virus trade system is going on in the, behind the scenes? <laughs> I don't like those odds. But so far so good, no sharp stabbing pains. I figured in the past, Raw meat has not digested very well in my body. But now that I have those enzymes, the now super enzymes, always in my Amazon. Amazon? Oh, that's so fancy. My Amazon shop down below. I have a bunch of supplements. Go shop down there if you want. But those and the Digest Gold, that should get me there. It's already improved my cooked meat digestion. So it should work. And so far, I think it is. That plus my new super hydrator before I've my new recipe, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon camu camu berry powder, one lemon juiced, quarter teaspoon of Himalayan salt, and then like three cups of water. That just tastes perfect now. Adding the salt, it's like, oh, that's an electrolyte now. That's what was missing. That is perfect. It acidifies the digestive tract. It should be just amazing hydrator digestive booster we got it and then like maybe half an hour after that I start eating my freak meal of raw meat demon food this is a balanced diet fruit and meat there's fiber and nutrients and meat it's perfect you wish you thought of it you didn't I'm writing the book not you unless you start it now I probably won't be finished for many years oh and I had two egg yolks in that meal my tip don't mix it in with your meal that ruins it just take them straight, remove the whites, yolk it up, and then eat your meal, your freak meal. So let me know your tips down below if you're doing this. You are. Let me know how you do it, what cuts are the best, all your stuff, so I don't die. No dairy, you moron. Dairy makes me bleed. I don't need blood. So we're done. Thanks for thumbing up the important episode. Real meat. Thumbs down. If you only eat raw dogs, you go to your dog park. Say, oh, I'll walk your dog for you. I'll do it free. Then you take the dog and you eat him. It's not even legal, first of all. It's not healthy. Dogs eat weird shit. They smell each other's bums. Did you eat the snout? That snout smelled a bum. You're gonna eat that? It's not smart. Not smart. So I'm gonna leave. Thanks for signing up to the monthly Patreon Q&A where you can get the raw meat tips even though I need your tips first. I know stuff. Subscribe for more videos. See you next.